today we'll solve a problem on single actin reciprocating air compression. Let's begin with the problem. A single actin reciprocating air compression takes in atmospheric air, atmospheric condition 101.325 kPa and 27 degrees Celsius and deliver it at 1.4 MPa. The compression runs at 300 RPM and has cylinder diameter of 160 mm and stroke 200 mm. Clearance volume is 4% of stroke volume. If the pressure and temperature of air at the end of suction stroke length are 100 kPa and 47 degrees Celsius and the law of compression and expansion is PV to the power 1.2 equals to constant. Determine mass of air delivered per minute volumetric efficiency, driving power required, taking mechanical efficiency 85%. This is the PV diagram of the reciprocating air compressor with clearance volume. You can see the processes 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4 and 4 to 1. The process 1 to 2 is polytropic compression of air Process 2 to 3 is the discharge of air to the receiver at pressure P2. Process 3 to 4 is the polytropic expansion of air and process 4 to 1 is the suction of air at pressure P1. Here you can see the PRS volume. DC, work volume, VS, and total volume is V1. What is clearance volume? Clearance volume is the volume that remains inside the cylinder after the piston reaches the end of its inward stroke. The swerve volume is given by V1 minus V3 and the effective swerve volume is V1 minus V4. Now, the equation for work that is actual work done for reciprocating air compression with clearance volume is the area under 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now let's try to solve the problem. What are the given data? The inlet pressure P1 that is 100 kPa. Inlet temperature T1 that is 47 degrees Celsius. We can convert it to Kelvin that is 320 Kelvin. Delivery pressure is P2 which is given 1.4 kPa. We have to convert it to kPa that is 1.4 into 10 to the power 3 kPa. Law of compression and expansion is PV to the power 1.2 equals to constant. Mechanical efficiency is given 85%. Cylinder diameter is 160 mm. We have to convert it to meter, that is 0.16 meter. Stroke length is given by 200 mm, so it is 0.2 meter. And the speed is given 300 rp. We know swap so volume Vs equals to pi by 4 into d square into L. We have to put the value of D that is 0.16 meter and the value of L that is stroke length which is given 0.2 meter. By putting the value of D and L and solving the equation pi by 4 d square into L, we got the value of 4.02 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube. In the problem, it is given that clearance volume is 4% of stroke volume. So, clearance volume this equals to 0.04 Vs. By solving this, we got the answer 0.16 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube. So, the total volume is Vs plus Vc that is it is the summation of sweat volume and clearance volume. By adding this, 
we got the answer 4.18 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter. Again, we know V4 by V3 equals to V2 by V1 whole to the power 1 by N. So V4 equals to V3 into V2 by V1 whole to the power 1 by N. And we know V3 equals to VC. So we are putting VC instead of V3 here. So we got V4 equals to VC into V2 by V1 whole to the power 1 by N. We got the value of VC is 0 0.16 into 10 to the power minus 3. And we know V2 equals to 1.4 into 10 to the power 3. And P1 is 100 all to the power 1 by N. Then is the value of polytropic index. We got that the law of compression and expansion here is P2 to the power 1.2 equals to constant. So we are putting the value of N equals to 1.2. We got the answer of V4 equals to 1.44 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube. Now, the first step is to determine the mass of air delivered per minute. Let Vf equals to volume of free air delivery. So, Pf into Vf divided by Tf equals to P1 into Va by T1. We know Va equals to V1 minus V4. Here in the problem, the value of Pf is given 101.325 kilopascal. So we are putting the value of Pf that is 101.325 into Vf. The value of Vf is not given. We have to find the value of Vf here. The value of Ts is given 27 degrees Celsius. 27 degrees Celsius means 300 Kelvin. And value of P1 is given 100 kilopascal here. The value of P1 is 100 kilopascal. And the value of V1 and V4 we have already got previously. And the value of P1 is given. The value of P1 is 320 Kelvin. Because here it is given 47 degrees Celsius. So by converting 47 degrees Celsius to Kelvin, we got 320 Kelvin. By solving this, we got the value of here, that is volume of free are delivered, is 0 0.760 which are cube per minute. Now we have to find the mass of air delivered per minute. So the mass of air delivered per minute m equals to Pf into Vf by R into T. From characteristic gas equation, we got the equation of M. We know the value of Pf is 101.325. Vf is 0 0.76. We just got the answer of Vf here. Value of R is 0 0.287. And the value of Pf is 300. By solving all this step, we got the answer of M that is mass of air delivered per minute is 0.894 kg. So we got the answer of mass of air delivered per minute 0.894 kg. Now we have to solve the second part that is volumetric efficiency. We know the volumetric efficiency equals to V1 minus V4 by Vs. What is V1 minus V4? V1 minus V4 is actually V. It is the actual volume of free air delivered per cycle. Divided by Vs. We know the Vs is sweat volume. So you already know the value of V1 and V4 is 4.18 into 10 to the power minus 3 and 1.4 into 10 to the power minus 3 respectively. And the value of V is, that is sweat volume is 4.02 into 10 to the power minus 3. By solving this, we got the answer of volumetric efficiency is 68.16%. Or you can say 68.16%. Now we have to solve the last part of the problem that is driving power required. And here it is given that mechanical efficiency is 85%. We, we know work done of reciprocating air compression when it is single stage with clearance volume is n by n minus 1 into p1 into 
V1 minus V4 into P2 by P1 whole to the power n minus 1 by n minus 1 where n equal to polytropic index. We got the value of n equals to 1.2. So here we put the value of n is 1.2 because here it is given that pv to the power 1.2 equal to constant. So we are putting the value of n equal to 1.2. n minus 1 that is 1.2 minus 1 into p1. We know the value of p1 is 100. v1 minus v4. We just sort the state v1 minus v4 here. So this is same here. The value of v1 minus v4. Here the value of p2 by p1 is we know the value of P2 is 1.4 into 10 to the power minus 3 and P1 is 100 whole to the power 1.2 minus 1 divided by 1.2 minus 1. By solving this we got the answer 0 0.908 kilo newton meter per cycle. We have to convert the kilo newton meter per cycle to kilowatt. So here what do we do? So we just multiply 0 0.908 with 300 and we divide the equation by 60 because we know the value of n in RPM is 300. So we have to convert this to revolution per minute to revolution per second. So here we put the value of 60. By solving this we got the answer of 4.54 kilowatt. Now the driving power required is 4.54 divided by 0 0.85 that is 5.341 kilowatt. What is 0.85? We know the driving power required taking the mechanical efficiency into consideration. So here we take mechanical efficiency 0 0.85. So, so we just divide the value of driving power with 0 0.85 we got the answer 5.341 that's all for today's class if you have any doubt please feel free to ask me anything if you like the video please share with your friends for more updates subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon thanks for watching